Presented by Ceramic Speed, part of the victory. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob. We are a beautiful Legoland. We're brought to you by Ceramic Speed, and we're here for Challenge Denmark. And one of the young men who is racing on Sunday, yep. Mr. Alex Smith, who is racing with Harrison. I am, yes. How fun is that? <laughs> That's nuts, but yeah, it's yes. really good fun. Uh, talk a little bit about Duchenne disease, which uh, obviously Harrison has. Yeah, so Harrison has something called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Okay. Um, it's a fatal muscle wasting condition. Uh, it affects 99% boys, 1% girls. Um, and boys like Harrison lose the ability to walk generally around their 11th and 12th birthdays. Yes. Um, Harrison's eight at the moment. And, and he's starting to struggle, you know, he is starting to struggle. Um, and unfortunately, we lose, lose our children somewhere in their late teens to mid-twenties. So they don't, they don't live beyond their twenties? No, very rarely, very rarely. It's interesting, we were just at our Challenge Athlete Foundation event the other night, and uh, parents in the same type of situation were, were basically told, you have two options. One option is keep your child safe and protect them, and maybe you'll get a little extra time. Yeah. Or live your life and enjoy every single moment. First of all, when did you find out uh, about that your son had been diagnosed with Duchenne? Um, we found out when he was four and a half, so just over four years ago now. And what were the symptoms? Uh, he would fall regularly. Yeah. And when he fell, he wouldn't save himself. He'd you know, head just the like, floor. Oh my God. Um, and to get back up again, he'd get up like an old man. He'd lever himself up. Wow. And our younger son came along two years later than him and uh, he'd jump to his feet and he'd be off. He'd be like, right. Like, that didn't happen this t last time around. Yeah. What's going on there? Um, so it took about a year of us trying to work out what it was. Um, going Could for the doctors, doctors tell you right away, or they no, took a while. It took a year of seeing different doctors oh to try God, and find out. That's the most um, frustrating thing because it's it is, then yeah. it's like, well, it's you know, it, you guys are just imagining things. Because then you do the stupid thing and start googling it as well. <laughs> you like, say so falling over, that yeah. kind of, and you, you, oh, it's the worst thing to look at. It's because the then it's, everything comes up. Yeah, abs absolutely everything. And it, in the end, there's not much worse than what we've got. It's, right, right. It's a pretty bad one, um, but. You know, how, did, how did you react? How, how did you deal with it when you first found out? I mean, obviously, um, this. I cried quite a lot. I bet you did. Yeah, yeah. no, that, that family, all of us cried a lot. Um, and uh, then I, I, I kind of, I had a look around at what, what was going on, and I decided that there wasn't enough happening. We weren't raising enough money, and yes. that I should start a foundation of my own. So that's what I did. Good man. So I run a foundation. <laughs> so I do that full time. Um, <laughs> It cool. has become a full-time thing for you. It's a full-time job now, yeah. So, I mean, you, you quit your other job. I quit my job, yeah. I quit my job full-time. Now, I how work out of Starbucks. How motivated? <laughs> you're working at Starbucks? Yeah. Nice. As in, I don't, not, I'm not a barista. I sit in Starbucks all day working. Oh, you said, okay. I was going to say, because a latte would be great right now. <laughs> so, nice. you know, a lot I'm of interviews. <laughs> I get a free one. <laughs> when you realize that your son is going through this, uh, yeah. How long was the process before, okay, now it's defined, we know what it is. That's yeah. step number one, at least you know what it is. Yeah. And you're not crazy. Yeah. Now you know what it is from there to starting a foundation. And then, then thinking, well, what, what the heck? Maybe I'll go do iron distance races <laughs> and Harris and I will do them together. Yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a big leap of faith. <laughs> um, it, was, it was quite quick. I mean, I, went, I started a foundation nine months after we found out so okay. it took about six months to get my head around it yes and you know, kind of come together as a family and work out what it was that we were going to do um started the foundation and then it was pretty soon after that i i wasn't a triathlete before i wasn't an athlete i wasn't anything i was a I was, really i was a guy sitting on a sofa drinking wine getting very <laughs> getting fat <laughs> i was that guy um and uh I picked up a triathlon magazine for yes. no reason, and there was an article. In so there. it's not like you're a subscriber of triathlon. No, you're just no. like in a newsstand and saw this thing. No, yeah, I just saw it and I'll pick yeah. that up, have a look. And there was a uh, a recruitment drive for a uh, a research study for people who've never done triathlon, who've never done iron distance, and they were going to train us to become iron distance athletes. And this is in the UK. Yeah, in the yeah. UK. And so I, I joined, and they said yes, and I was like, oh Christ, shit, I'm doing this thing now. <laughs> <laughs> so my first ever race was a half half iron, and, and at this point you weren't pulling Harrison. No, not yet. Just, you're just doing try yeah. on your own. So it was, it was at this point when I started looking at Ironman. I'm like, so I'll do some research about what I'm getting into here. 
And that's when I found Dick and Dick Rick Dick and Rick Hoyt, yeah. Yeah, and so they're my inspiration. It was, it was seeing well, them do it. I mean, Dick is... And, and our videographer, John Geffrey, we both talk about it. He's our hero. I mean, yeah. that guy, yeah, he runs a sub-three-hour marathon pushing this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, he's, it, he's we rapid. figured it out one time that between the bike he used to ride and Rick weighing like 160 pounds. You're not very good at pounds. Do you know that it, is in kilos? I have no idea. But it's so it was over. We figured he was he was basically hauling about you know 200 pounds which i don't know what that is in in yeah. kilos but you got to figure out real numbers sometime yeah. get rid of the stupid metric system what do you guys 200 pounds yeah, that's, yeah. Uh, that's it's about a lot. my weight it's yeah, so your weight it's exactly it's your yeah Ish. yeah yeah so it's, it's your weight and on the handlebars of the yeah. bike you know on a bike the bike the weight about 35 40 pounds plus the kid and it's it's unbelievable yeah so when you saw this were you scared at all uh do you know what? I, I saw it and i thought I've got a good set of lungs. Yes. I've got a heart that works really well. I'm stubborn as hell. I've got legs that work. I've got muscles that work. And my son doesn't. And they're the things that are failing him. So if I've got them, I'll just be his for the day. Yeah. So that's how it started. You know, it's, it's fascinating when I watched and, you know, met, you know, I met Rick and Dick. Every time you see Rick, he's got a smile on his face. Yeah. Harrison the same way? Yeah, all the time. The boy doesn't stop smiling most. Unless, unless, of course, he takes something off him, and then he's, then he's not so happy. <laughs> take, his, take his iPad away, and he'll um, chase you down. But. <laughs> but. How has the bond between you and Harrison grown through this process? And how long has it been that you guys have been racing together? Um, this will be our second race. Just your second race? Our second race. So how many, but you've done a bunch of training. We've done a, yeah, we've done an awful lot of training. I've, yeah. Yeah, I've been training 25 hours, 30 hours a week for the last six months which means he's training 25 hours he's he's not he's he's training less than that okay um no we, we broke our pb for a half marathon or my personal pb for half marathon in, in january so where'd we, you go uh we did a 154 together wow sub so, two hours yeah it's quite cool i was quite pleased with that i you should be yeah so we're, we're punching for a four hour so tomorrow. so this is your second race yeah and what was the first one uh, that half marathon Oh, so this is the first triathlon. This then. is the first triathlon. This is the first. This is first. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, don't miss them out, Bob. <laughs> oh my God! Why are you just jump in? You're one of those guys who's like, what? I, the shallow end? Why would I jump yeah. in the shallow end? Don't do that. <laughs> just jump into the deep I end. I haven't got time for the shallow end. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta just jump in. You yeah. you go big. Yeah. All the time. Always. It's it, it's the only way. So, what is the? Have you done swim, bike, run together with Harrison? No. Tomorrow will be the first time. Yeah. What the hell, right? <laughs> it's, it's not like it's going to make a difference, right? No, no, no. Nah. Tomorrow so, will be what it is. And when you swim, is he in a raft like like Rick? What, no, what? he's not. Okay. Um, well, yeah, he's a raft. More of a such. kayak. Or he's, in, he's in a no. He's in a catamaran. Oh. So I've had a, an eleven foot catamaran built. Like a like a little sailboat. Yeah, just without the sail. Oh, as you say, with sail would be yeah, good. Would be nice. That way you can just hang on to him. <laughs> So it's 11 foot by four foot. He sits in the middle. Yes. It's, it's um, attached to my waist. Yes. Um, and I drag. It's funny. This, yeah. uh, Dick used to complain to me that at Kona that people would hang on the raft and he'd pull I these other people's. I swear they're going to. I've got, a, I've got a few guys swimming with me on the day. To keep people off? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not having one holding on. Christ, it's heavy enough as it is. Now, this is a pretty flat swim, so you don't have to worry about waves or anything like yeah. that, right? Okay. And so, what's your? What do you do for the bike? Is it? Is it a, like a pull? You're, he's not on the handlebars like no, Rick is. He's no. behind. He's behind. We've um we've had a trailer made. Yes. So it's uh he's got a little racing seat that's been molded to him. Um, three quarters of it is made out yes. of carbon fiber. Some yeah. of it's metal. Um, racing wheels on the back, and it's attached to my rear axle. So how how do you um do you stop to feed? You know, to, for you guys to grab a little nutrition along the way yeah no he's, he's he'll have a packed lunch they'll pick up at, at the uh, oh. at halfway so he'll eat that his, then. his, his special needs will yep. be a, he'll get a packed get lunch a needs, big a mac lunch. fries and a coke something <laughs> like that oh no nowhere near that no, no, no. <laughs> it's all clean eating our end mate <laughs> so how has this changed you like you said you weren't an athlete before you no. weren't into any of this stuff uh, are you healthier than you've been are you yeah. it, it seems like this is one of those things that was it's not just great for Harrison, but it's been good for you physically and emotionally. Yeah, abs absolutely. I'm, it's my downtime. It's it. No, training is my downtime. It's when I switch off. 
So you don't, at that point, you're not running the foundation. No. You're dad. Yeah, I'm and, a dad You're, you're out stuff. there, and I'm sure there's times when you're out working out where you're thinking, this is a little hard, yeah. and you draw on Harrison. Yeah, I do. And, you know, if you see me down the finishing chute tomorrow, when, when you see me down the yes. finishing chute tomorrow, I will most probably be crying my eyes out. Yes, you without will. Without a doubt. I, I know I'm going to be blubbing like a big baby. Um, and Harrison will be like, go faster. Yeah, he will. Why do you, <laughs> we've got a documentary being made yes. at the moment. The guys are following us. Wonderful. And, um, they, uh, they've asked me to save save something for a sprint finish <laughs> like, like that dick hoyt finish where you see him <laughs> oh, running about 400 miles an hour isn't that an amazing finish oh i love that yeah. I, I just love that, that. Damn thing made me cry as well <laughs> so after you do your first yep. half i'm assuming that you're probably going to jump into a full somewhere no, we're doing the full tomorrow oh you're doing the full tomorrow yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you're wait, oh, wait. yeah this is your first triathlon and I've you done, have an option i've done two iron man before Personally, by you personally, myself. but not pulling. not with Harrison. But okay. we're yes, we're doing a full tomorrow with Harrison. But you personally haven't been into this stuff that long. Two years. Two years. Yeah. And and you've already done a couple of Ironman races. Yeah, I've gone Barcelona again in in October. Okay. And when you did Barcelona, without without Harrison. Yeah. How'd you do in that? Well, Barcelona was my first, and yeah, that okay. was all about the finish. Okay. Second one then. Uh, twelve ten. Oh, okay. So you're a real deal. Yeah, no I don't mess about. And how much, during this process of becoming a triathlete, how has your body changed? How much weight have you lost? Um, yeah. I'm, I'm imagining it's probably... <laughs> well, I was a 17 stone, uh, so 260-odd uh, pounds. Okay, so you've, you've I, lost about lad. 60. Yeah, I'm, I'm... You're about 200 pounds. Yeah, I'm 200 pounds about now. Yeah. So... And I'm fit. <laughs> you are fit. I've got an engine. I've got an engine on me. What's the goal for tomorrow for the f I can't believe you're doing the full. <laughs> I'm like, you are a knucklehead. Um, what's the goal? So the swim, we're looking to get done in about 135, okay. 140. Um, bike, maybe seven, seven a little. Yeah, that's not bad. Seven and a half. Depending maybe. on wind, yeah. Depending on wind and rain. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then pump out a uh, four-hour four, marathon. Four, four and a half or so. Four, I'll, I'll, go try, I'll be trying for four tomorrow. Oh, Wow, Join. you're on a four-hour marathon pushing Harrison. Now, what's Harrison yeah. weigh? Uh, he is 40 kilos, so uh, yeah, yeah, 100 and something pounds. Yeah. 140 pounds, 130 pounds. And now, what is... No, that's 100 pounds, isn't it? About 100 pounds. Besides being out with you, what is... is Harrison's in school, I'm imagining. Yeah, yeah, daily at school. Um, we do a lot of physiotherapy with him. Yes. Uh, a lot of uh, appointments to children's hospitals, that kind of stuff. But he's... Uh, He's into Lego, so he's chuffed to be oh. here. Oh, <laughs> <about this. laughs> when you're taking me into Legoland, um, and uh, he just loves being out and about. He's you know he's a lovely yeah. little boy. He's gregarious, outgoing, stubborn as hell. But. What's the, been the biggest challenge for you making this happen? I mean, you leave your job, you you know you're, you're just like Dick Hoyt. You committed to your son. Yeah. What the biggest challenge for you, like just talking to race directors, getting people to donate, yeah. getting to the races, logistics. Getting equipment. There's a lot of stuff oh, man, going yeah, on. Yeah, getting the sponsors and the equipment on board has been, uh, that's been an absolute mission. Yeah. Absolute mission. Um, trying to get into a race. Yeah. You know, that. And say, listen, I'm not going to impact your race, but I'm going to be pulling my kid. Yeah. I'm gonna be, yeah. I've, got a f I've got a four foot wide boat I'm dragging. You know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they're so, all thinking about their insurance liability. Yeah, and absolutely. A problem. Yeah, and, I understand. And uh, I mean, challenge. Denmark have been amazing. They said yes straight away. Yes. Um, we targeted them because it was a nice flat course <laughs> with the hope of a nice no, strong so wind the, behind, yeah, which yeah, yeah. hasn't kind of happened. Happen no. <laughs> You're uh, getting a nice wind in your face. Yeah, yeah I'm afraid so. Um, which is a shame, but hey, hey. We're just, it is what it is. So when you come down that chute yeah. and you'll be finishing your first half distance race, uh, first full. Full distance. Half distance. Jesus. <laughs> your first full distance race and really with h yeah the first triathlon that you two are doing together yeah together yeah what do you think you're gonna be feeling uh there's there's so many emotions in my head one just is supremely proud that i've i've done this for him right and that he's experienced becoming an iron man yes because yeah. as far as i'm concerned he's done he'll be an, eight, an iron man every day iron man. yeah um so that's in mean, that first that i've had 14 hours 13 hours, 12 hours, whatever it's going to be, I've had that time with him. Yes. Which, you know, lots of dads don't get that. You don't get 14 hours of constant one-on-one -on -one with, your, with your kids. So that's amazing. Um, and hopefully we've 
raised a lot of money, inspired yeah. a few people to do something mad for us as well. Um, and then I'll cry like a baby, without doubt. No, I know I'm going to. Well, it was interesting because the other night we were in New York and had um, a little boy who, similar, he does, he pulls his little brother in a raft and then he r rides the bike and I saw pulls them. the middle trail. I saw them on, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I hadn't heard about them. And that got shared with me a lot. Uh, Have you seen this? Yes. That kid's doing what you want to do. Exactly. <laughs> And the you know parents are you know that you can just see, it, it's all fueled by love. Yeah. Right. It's, yeah. Is there anything more powerful than that? No, not at all. It's it's. Yeah, you you get lots of love from your family, don't you? Yes. You, know, you get lots of love from your your kids, and that gives you the strength to do what you need to do. But then, what I found most amazing here, particularly this week, has been having having like the arms of triathlon kind of go around you. I spoke to Maka yesterday. Yes. Um, first time I met him. I've yes. never met him before. And I, so I just tapped him on the shoulder and said, uh, yeah. I'm that bloke doing that weird thing tomorrow. And then he's like, you're just mental. Yes. And, <laughs> and no. And the thing is, with someone like a Maka, he's now your best friend. Yeah, he's an awesome guy. The best. And that's yeah. what our world is. Our world is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a family, mm. right? And you, that your family has been touched by a disease and you can use this sport to help the next parent who's going through yeah. and that's the one thing you're going to hear over and over again the number of parents will come up and go we're dealing with this we just found out our son was diagnosed with x you're showing us a pathway yeah you're one showing the, us that there's hope one of the guys racing with me tomorrow he's part of the sport team he's yes. uh, his son has also got duchenne so he's doing it for him so was, there's two of us out there Oh, is he doing it too? He's not doing it with, uh, with his he's son. He's doing it with you? He's doing it with me, yeah. Same he's thing. He's along for kind of safety. And, but he's a, he's a, he's a, I think he's done a 919. Oh, my God. By himself. Yeah. Wow. You wouldn't think it if you look at him either. <laughs> that is amazing. Alice, congrats on Thank everything. You. And when you come across the finish line tomorrow, there's not going to be a dry eye in, in the house. Thanks. So when, what's the plans for the documentary? Um, well, hopefully it's, it's going to be going out onto Netflix and... Um, and it'll be based on this race? It's based on this race and, and, the, and, the, history. and the family behind yes, it. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's hopefully coming out later this year. And how many, uh, how many other children? I've got one other. I've got William, who's uh, six. And he's He's obviously. absolutely fine, yeah. Yeah, which is, and he's into triathlon. He did his first triathlon last weekend. How fun is that? <laughs> yeah. It was a run, bike, swim. Yeah. So you've got a whole triathlon family. Yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the day when all three of us can race together. Love that. Alex, thanks so much for taking time. Bob, it's been a pleasure. Have a wonderful time tomorrow. I know you will because you'll have, what, you know, 11 hours or so of just bliss of just being yep. with your son. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, Alex Smith has been our guest. They will be out there tomorrow. Oh, and the website is harrisonsfund.org. Dot .org. Yep. Harrisonsfund.org. Uh, oh, and I, you know what? I, I need to ask you about this. I wish my son was a dog. <laughs> and I think that's an amazing story because the was it a, a veterinary hospital or... Yeah, it was a dog's home in Manchester. And it, it got, burned down? It got bur yeah, burnt down. And there's amazing, amazing, amazing pictures on, yes. on, on TV of people running in, saving the dogs, getting them out, and then... Donating. Pub public donated really aggressively, really quickly. They raised two million quid in like a week. And... I, th I was really proud, like, that's amazing, you know, that we've raised lots of money and done so much so quickly. But then I was like, well, I'm really frustrated. It's like, if we can react that quickly and that aggressively for some dogs, then... What, what's going on with your son or child? with that disease? So if Duchenne. my son was a dog, then... He would be taken care of. Be, yeah, there'd be... <laughs> be more I money. Isn't that... Uh, I mean, obviously, we want everybody taken care of, but when you're talking about a disease that impacts a child or... Lou Gehrig's disease or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. The fact that there's more dollars going for animals yeah. than, than humans. It just doesn't seem the right way around. It doesn't seem the right way. Yeah. So hopefully, and I know that you know, that was pretty controversial. <laughs> a you bit, know, yeah. I wish my son was a dog. I mean, people are like, what? What <laughs> yeah. type of guy is this? <laughs> yeah, I know. Were you surprised at that? Yeah, I got, I got, a, lot of, I got a fair amount of stick for that one. Um, a lot of people phoning up and saying, you've tricked us. Yeah. You've tried to t tell the people that your dog, your son's a dog, and they're going to give us money. And it's like, well, guys, come on, it's not <laughs> read it. <laughs> right. It was all about choices, basically. I wanted people to choose exactly. You know, have be conscious about where their money goes. Don't just give for a picture. No, no, give to something to make a difference.
again, Alex Smith has been our guest. Harrisonsfund.org. Go online and donate. They've raised. Wait, how much have you raised so far? As a as a charity, uh, we've raised just over a million quid now. A million um, quid and million pounds, yeah, one point six million dollars. Um, Good for you. Yeah, not too bad. Um, well, you've been doing it how long? Uh, two years. Yeah, two and a half years. Yeah, half a million a year. Yeah. Uh, no, wait, two years, a million a year. Yeah. So it's only two, yeah, yeah. Million, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's going, it's going all right. Um, I've got a just giving page. It's even better. Love that. The greatestironman.com. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah. Thanks again, Alex. Bob, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Again, this is Breakfast with Bob. We're here at beautiful Legoland and Challenge Denmark, and we are brought to you by Ceramic Speed. Hold on, everybody. We'll be right back.